Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Wealth Unlimited. Today in the series of talking about stock market updates, I have news related to the inflation data in US market. There is a crash coming in for the tomorrow's market. Further, we will be discussing how Nifty 50 and Bank Nifty traded today. I have news related to the Bajaj Pinserve, Harsha Engineering IPO and Adani Enterprise, which we will be discussing in this video. Before starting the video, if you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the like button on this video and do subscribe to my channel as well. So talking about the Dow Jones, the Dow Jones is currently 877 points down. Yes, this is the live market and this is going to put a lot of pressure on the Indian market tomorrow. And I believe that we can see a scenario of gap down nifty opening around the levels of 17,850 or below. Now, what happened exactly? Why Dow Jones is crashing right now or why US market and the European markets are in turmoil? Again, you will see that the August consumer price index since stocks skidding. This means that the consumer data which came out today was not expected by the US analyst and they expected the inflation to go down in a much faster rate which did not happen and due to which we see such a huge downfall coming into the US market. The consumer inflation data or the consumer price index went below 0.1% from 8.4 to 8.3, which market was expecting to fall to the level of 8.1%. Well, this create a massive turmoil in the market and a lot of people or a lot of investors are believing that there is going to be a huge Fed rate hike or interest rate hike of 75 points to the 100 basis points, which will negatively affect the US market, US economy and can ultimately throw them into recession. Looking at like what happened in India today or what happened in Nifty 50 index today, Nifty gave a good breakout and it as expected, it gave an opening above the level of 18,000, made a high of 18,000. 88 rupees and came down to the lower level of 18,015. The Nifty gave a good closing. You can see that Nifty closed at a level of 18,070 and it definitely gave a breakout. But again, I believe tomorrow what is going to happen in the market that Nifty is going to open somewhere here near the level of 17,800 and 850. Well, I must tell you that 17,800 is a massive support for Nifty. And if we, if we break that particular, that particular support in tomorrow's trading session, there are chances that we might further skid to the level of 17,650 in coming days. This is not because anything happened in Nifty 50 index. This is purely, purely going to happen because of the US market being under pressure or global market being under pressure. Next thing, talking about the Bank Nifty index. Again, the Bank Nifty index was able to sustain the breakout. And I believe that Bank Nifty index is going to face a resistance at a level of 41,000. And if we see tomorrow's gap down opening in the Indian market, then Bank Nifty can fall to the level of 39,000 as well. In initially, I believe that uh, the Bank Nifty can fall to the level of uh, 40,000, which is a cycle logical level and uh, it can try to take a support at a level of 40,000. If not, then definitely it can go down to the level of 39,500, 39,000 in coming future. Now, we're talking about the FISDS data, you will see that the, again, the FIS were the net buyers in today's trading session as well. They did a buying of 1,956 crore in the cash market and the DIS were the net sellers for 1,268 crore. The FIS data are quite looking quite strong and I believe that there is a lot of inflow coming from the foreign institutions into Indian market, which is definitely putting strength into the Indian market, Indian equity market in Nifty, in Sensex and whatnot. I believe uh, for some time or like for a coming week, we can stay under pressure because of the global inflation data, because of the US uh, or the global market pressure. So we, I will suggest you to be cautious and if you have gained profit in some of the stocks, try to book it and wait for the right opportunities in the market. The next thing coming to the Bajaj Finserve. Yes, uh, I have this particular stock. I want to discuss about Bajaj Finserve from quite some time. 
and today the Bajaj Finserve gave a split of 1.1 1 .1 raised to 5 and a bonus of 1 to 1. Most of the people who hold Bajaj Finserve would have been seeing a red the stock in red stating that it has given minus 90 percent returns today which is basically false if you are new to the stock market if you want to know the company has split it into one one share into five shares and it has already also given a bonus of one to one so basically if you have two stocks of uh, bajaj finserv then say that you through split you got 10 shares and through bonus you get 10 more shares so if you have two shares of Bajaj Finserv till today you will get 20 shares of Bajaj Finserv whenever the split or, or the bonus shares get accumulated in your portfolio so don't worry about that the stocks will come into your uh, DMAT account accordingly according to the time which they have fixed after the split there has been a good volume coming into the Bajaj Finserv, you will see that the Bajaj Finserv was up 4.4% on the closing basis despite the split and the bonus. It made a high of roughly around 1932 which again shows a great strength and I can see volume coming in this particular stock for today's trading session. Though there has been a profit booking from the top level, I believe that if this particular stock falls below the level of uh, uh, 1750 tomorrow then you can see a negative or the bearish trend starting in this particular company to the level of 1670. Talking about the next news which is related to the Adani enterprise it has become the fourth group firm to cross the 4 trillion market cap for the Adani group and uh, I must tell you that the Adani enterprise has given massive massive returns in last few weeks and uh, where the nifty has given only two percent of return the adani group you can see that in the adani group has gone up 24 percent in just one month making its market cap going up above four trillion and uh, right now it stood as a number 15th position in over market overall market cap companies in the indian market the next thing I want to talk about uh, is related to the dairy news that the size of Indian dairy market is to jump over two folds in 30 trillion by 2027. This has been stated by National Dairy Development Board. And I believe that some of the stocks like Dodla Dairy who are into this particular segment can hugely benefit from it because there are a lot of, there are like 60 percent of the Indian population who are into agriculture, who are into cattle farming and what not. And I believe that uh, there are a lot of lot of initiatives which government is, has starting to take towards this, this particular sector and this particular segment. And definitely we can see a rise in these kind of companies and these kind of businesses which will eventually be benefited towards the improving the dairy standard people who work in dairy and their standard of life. I believe this is a great initiative and you can look for stocks like Dodla Dairy in long term perspective because uh, if uh, there has been like new schemes coming out for these kind of companies then definitely they are going to get benefit out of it. Now the next big thing I want to discuss about should you subscribe to the Harsha Engineering IPO. Well I have said it already that I am going to apply in this particular IPO. The GMP, the grey market premium for Harsha IPO is currently stands at 212 rupees and uh, the price band which is it is going to come is roughly around 330 rupees and there is a huge huge gains on the listing i believe that if the market is going to be under pressure from the global queues then there are chances that the gray market premium might go down but looking at the balance sheet of the, this company looking at the clientele of this company looking at the expansion which they have done in 25 countries across north america europe asia and south africa south america and africa i believe that they can they can be the game changer the company is fairly valued and the price band of the epo uh, ipo is also coming at the right price so these were all the news I wanted to cover in today's video. I hope I was able to give you a good update on the stock market and what is going to happen tomorrow. I see a huge gap down coming for the Indian market tomorrow due to the global queues. If the market recovers in US market, there are chances that we might get to open somewhere around 18,000, but most likely we are going to open near the range of 17,850 to 17,900. So if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and do share it with your friends. That's all for today. Thank you.